Hello everyone. Today we are starting up with the new uh, course in which we'll be starting up with class 12th videos. So from this video on, I'll be making videos for syllabus of class 10th and we'll be taking up uh, the syllabus unit wise uh, so that it's easy for you to you know go through the videos. I'll be also numbering the videos and making a separate playlist for class 12th uh, so that it becomes easy for you people to just you know go through all the videos. Now it, it was like uh, many of my previous subscribers they were like as now they are class 12th they want me to make videos for class 12th so this is for you uh, so we are going to start up with the first unit which says reproduction in organisms there is a general first part first chapter which is there in this unit it's a general chapter in which they have discussed the different definitions of different uh, definitions which are which you are you know uh, which will be there in the next chapters uh, so uh, it's just covering all those things so we'll be uh, starting up with the first main topic that is a sexual reproduction after asexual sexual and all so in continuation every video will be there so starting up with asexual reproduction as we all know what uh, asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction in which only single organism is required like uh, only single organism give rise to the daughter organisms there are no separate uh, you know male and female sex in order to prepare or in, or in order to you know fertilize and form uh, uh, new organisms so this is is asexual reproduction we are going to study the different types of asexual reproduction and we'll start up with the first one which is a very common one and everyone knows that is fission the first one is fission fission means one organism divides into two and then further division takes place but we categorize it into two binary fission and multiple fission fission means division so binary and uh, multiple fission are the two divisions binary as we know multiple fission binary as we know is when one organism divides to form two and multiple is when one organism will form many new organisms so we'll be taking up one by one the first one would be binary fission in binary fission we have a very common example of amoeba uh, where we can clearly see that one parent amoeba it divides into two daughter amoebae so uh, in this uh, uh, type of division first of all this type of division is uh, the organisms which undergo this type of division are also known as immortal organism that means they never you know end up naturally for example if we take example of amoeba what do we observe that one single amoeba divides into two daughter amoebae and then these two daughter amoebae will mature to form another two daughter amoebae and this cycle is going to go on continuously so there is no you know there is no end or stop to this process so that's why we are considered as like immortal organ uh, until unless we like crush them that's an artificial way of you know uh, killing them or uh, stopping them to grow so this is the first type of uh, reproduction that is binary fission then we have the next type that is multiple fission multiple fission as from the name itself it's clear that it is when one organism divides into many so uh, here the example of multiple fission would be plasmodium plasmodium here we have taken example of amoeba and here multiple fission plasmodium now if we can see a difference here what, uh, what happens in plasmodium in plasmodium there is like one organism where the first type of division the first type of division which will take place will be karyokinesis that means division of nucleus so here in single organism multiple nucleus will be formed and around this nucleus after a while membranes will be formed and finally they will be filled with cytoplasm and this wall will rupture in order to release these organisms the process is known as multiple fission and it can be seen in plasmodium so we can clearly see that one organism in plasmodium is giving rise to multiple new organisms this is multiple fission so we are done with uh, the two types of fission that is binary fission and multiple fission the starting the next 
type of uh, uh, asexual reproduction which we are going to do is budding budding also as the name states it is the formation of bud which is formed on an organism and then it detaches falls on a substratum and then grows into a new organism but here we have a difference but you can say we can study buds the formation of buds as two types exogenous buds one type of buds which are formed are exogenous buds and the other ones are endogenous buds exogenous and endogenous buds exogenous are the one exo means outside so exogenous buds example would be yeast or hydra and in endogenous uh, the organisms where endogenous buds are formed it's a very spongula it's a very uh, you know a unique case and we'll be studying it abhi i'll be telling you how it, it uh, takes place talking about yeast and hydra we all know that what happens in yeast it's a very common example in yeast a chain of buds is formed on a parent organism after a while this chain this when it attains a certain maturity level the chain the organisms they fall over the substratum and grow as single organisms that is a uh, uh, budding where exogenous buds are formed when we are talking about endogenous buds endogenous buds are formed in spongula and here gemmules are released like as in if we see the structure of spongula what do we observe that here inside the inner lining we have these structures known as gemmules these gemmules they are released uh, after being formed inside the body now what is the structure or if you see the structure of uh, uh, this gemmule what do we observe that we have a body rounded mass which has these structures rounded cells present in them and the whole cluster is known as archaeocytes and if the, there is a wall around it and here we have an opening like this so this opening is known as micropyle this mass is known as archaeocytes and here this in the, the inside this uh, we have spine spine shaped structures known as spicules spicules for production so this is a structure of a gemmule so when the uh, spongulite uh, matures the gemmules are you know they are they come out or they are passed out from the spongula and these gemmule when they fall over the substratum they attach to the substratum from micropyle that means inverted form micropyle it attaches to the substratum and hence it grows and finally a spongula is formed so this is the type of uh, endogenous this is the formation in which endogenous buds are formed that is when the buds are formed inside the body of the organism okay so this was about fission and budding the next type of uh, uh, asexual reproduction which we are going to do is spore formation spore formation third one spore formation now spore formation can be studied under two headings that is zoo spores and conidia we have zoo spores we have conidia and then the process of fragmentation also occurs or you can say can be studied under this and we have a next type that is plasmotomy so i'll just write down what we are going to study here under this zoo spores conidia we have fragmentation and then we have plasmotomy plasmotomy so what happens in zoo spores in zoo spores we have okay uh, 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 we we are going to take up this topic that is uh, spore formation in which we'll be studying these four in the next video and uh, thank you thanks a lot keep watching and subscribing